Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a little treat box for you that holds a spring Little Debbie brownie. Uh, this box was originally designed by Marissa at Kitchen Table Stamper. So thanks, Marissa, for the idea. I've had it pinned to my Pinterest board for a while and really wanted to give it a try. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're using Marigold Moments, unfortunately, <laughs> as what happens during the last chance list month. The, the stamps have sold out, but the dies are still available. You can use any flower bundle that you have. It will work just fine. All right, so inside I found these blooming spring brownies from Little Debbie, so that's what we're going to do. I thought they were a perfect match for this designer series paper from the Flowers and More DSP pack. All right, let's make our box first. You're going to need a piece of the paper, the DSP, that is five and a half by five and a half. Now I have a PDF on my blog that has the measurements right here and the full supply list. So make sure that you grab that so you don't have to scribble it all down. All right, grab your Simply Scored and on one side, it doesn't matter which side because this is a perfect square, you're gonna score it at one and four and a half. When you are scoring designer series paper, make sure you use a light touch because if you push too hard, you will tear your paper. Turn it and score the other side at two and a fourth and three and a fourth. Now, you're also gonna need one of these stitched scallop rectangles from the uh, scallop contour dies. And you're going to, it's, it's basic white, and we're gonna sc add score lines to the middle at one and three fourths and two and three fourths. All right, so that's gonna make our little top to our box. All right, let's put that box together. It is very easy. You want to grab your bone folder. The hardest part is seeing those score lines on your busy designer series paper. So find those score lines, burnish them with your uh, bone folder, and then you'll be ready to go. All right, now we're gonna take our scissors and we're going to snip these score lines right here in the middle that is just a little one inch tab okay now take your adhesive and i'm going to put adhesive on the outside of those tabs and fold up one of the sides and push that in like that Okay, and then we're gonna put adhesive right here on the inside of the remaining tabs or the sides. And you're gonna wrap it around. It just kind of hugs the other side of the paper like that. Okay, and there you go. You just have this cute little box that your brownie is gonna fit into perfectly. Now let's add that um, scalloped rectangle. We're going to put adhesive right here and we're just gonna adhere it to the back so that it folds over like that. It's not going to be completely closed, but that's okay. We're not worried about it falling out. So put your adhesive on one of these sections and we're gonna center it right there like that and we're gonna fold that over. Now, one thing I didn't do yet was stamp, so we're gonna to have to kind of lay that awkwardly <laughs> like that so I can stamp the stem. Here is the stem, and we're gonna do a little bit of two steps, two step stamping. Um, I'm going to stamp the stem in full strength here on my grid paper. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna stamp it about right there so that it's lighter, okay? Then I've got this little weird little tiny image and it's gonna just add some texture to those pieces, okay, like that. Okay, now we could put our brownie inside, close it up and I have some Fresh Freesia Ribbon, which is on sale for only $2 right now with the last chance list. And Fresh Freesia is one of the colors that is actually carrying over in our new color refresh. So grab you a couple of bolts of this 
Fresh Freeze Air Ribbon. They're only $2. All right, so now you wanna snip those ends off like that. There we go. I think I'm gonna leave that up on the top like that. All right, for our flower, you wanna cut out the solid from Daffodil Delight cardstock, and then the, uh, the top layer you wanna cut out from Daffodil also, but put an adhesive sheet on the back first, and that turns it into a sticker, which is awesome. All right, now, to create some contrast here, I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and add Wink of Stella inside each of those little sections. It's gonna give me just enough contrast to show this flower has two layers and really add some of that dimension. You could also completely color the back one with Wink of Stella first if you wanted to. All right, we'll add this on here with a dimensional. And then the last thing we're gonna do is do our sentiment. And I have a piece of um, Blackberry Bliss cardstock and I'm going to stamp it with a verse mark. Rub it with your embossing buddy first so that it removes any of the static cling you might have. Grab your embossing powder, flick that off, get your heat tool, hit it for about 10 or 15 seconds. until it's bright white. And then you can either use your trimmer or you can be a rebel like me and trim it with your scissors like that. And then we'll just stick that on with a dimensional right across the bottom of our flower. And there you go, a fun, easy little spring treat holding our favorite little Debbie brownies. All right, make sure you click the link on YouTube so you can grab that free PDF on my blog and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.